Back here on Bay Sunday now, my colleagues Elizabeth Cook and Dana King had a conversation about a big fundraiser for the San Francisco General Hospital Foundation. Let's listen in. Segment we feature information about a fundraiser for the San Francisco General Hospital Foundation, the 2012 Heroes and Hearts Luncheon. Please welcome co chair Connie Shanahan and one of the 14 artists, my colleague, anchor Dana King. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, the Heroes and Hearts organization is has a very rich history here in the Bay Area. Tell us about that, Connie. It does. Um, the original series was called Hearts in San Francisco mm. of the type of heart that Dana did for us. Mm and we auction them off and you see them around the city everywhere. And then every, year, it skipped a year and every year after that, this is our seventh annual luncheon. Wow. And, and it, it's grown every year. And, and tell me a little bit about the money that you raise through this. We raise, um, we've raised over $7 million for the events from Selling the Hearts and from the lunch, and now the third year of an evening event as well called Hearts After Dark. Wow, well so tell me about this luncheon that you have coming up. Um, well, we're excited this year because as you talk about the rich history, we're going back to what I think are our roots. Mm -hmm. The first one was at AT&T Park, and we've outgrown Union Square by the size of the event, so we're going back to AT&T Park. Wow, I can So it'll be on the field. Spectacular it looking is. at all these hearts. Unbelievable, yeah. what an incredible event. Now, you selected 14 artists to participate in this. Exactly. And one of them, is anchor Dana King. Now, Dana, a lot of people don't realize that in addition to your duties here at CBS5, you're also a very accomplished artist. Tell us how you kind of discovered art and made that part of your life. Well, I've always painted, but uh, I took a weekend course with a sculptor, a master sculptor named Philippe Ferro, and that was it, and I've been sculpting ever since. And I started back at school to get my master's in fine art. and. Now I just do the work, but I saw a listing for, it was it's called a call to artists mm -hmm. for um, a submission for the Heroes and Hearts. I had like three days to do it, and oh. I whipped together the submission, and I was so nervous about it, I drove it down to the foundation office. I'm like, oh. here it is, because I've never submitted anything before, and when they called me back and said that I had won it, I was over the moon. And then the heart arrived. <laughs> I was going to say, it's a massive undertaking. Oh, it's it gigantic. Gives, look how goosebumps out. It's huge. It's five feet tall, wow. five feet nine across, three feet three inches deep. I have it. It's ingrained. It's uh, like in my uh, dreams. Absolutely. It just squeaked through the door by about a quarter of an inch. And, wow. And then I looked at it for about a week. It was terrifying. Oh, well, let's take a look at it. I want to look. Oh, I want you to kind of describe it for me. Oh, it's okay. gorgeous. Beautiful. So this is the heart. I, I created it with tissue paper and string. And um, it's the globe. I call it a global prescription. And on it is written a saying by Hippocrates that wherever the art of medicine is loved, there's also a love of humanity. And it's in English, Spanish, French, Swahili, and Chinese. I had great wow. assistance, language assistance on even the English, no I'm kidding. <laughs> but oh, it's it, beautiful. Uh, it's, it just, it, to me, that saying resonated with the project that, I mean, the goal of the Heroes and Hearts Foundation, the, the San Francisco Foundation, that they give so much to the community in free medical services and just love and care that the saying just embodied all that that hard work that goes into what is given away every day by the San Francisco General Hospital. Well, it's stunning, and it really is a wonderful representation of, of your work and also the organization. But, I mean, it weighs 400 oh, pounds. It's massive. <laughs> what was it like kind of manipulating that and making it work? <laughs> so it comes on a pallet. They bring it in on a, on a truck and then a lift and then comes into your studio and they drop this thing off with a pallet. So I left it on the pallet, thank goodness, because it's impossible to move. So now I told you I made it with tissue paper. So it's spray glue onto the heart. My floor is covered with spray glue. And so I would sticking to the floor. Oh, it was terrible. And the heart and on the pallet was sticking to the floor. So I would have to sit on the floor and push the pallet with my feet, like with my legs, uh -huh. just to get it to turn about three inches at a time. Yeah. It's massive. But it was a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and um, I'm just I'm so grateful to have been chosen. It's a huge honor. 
huge. So tell me a little bit about the heroes, Connie. I know that's a big part of it, obviously, the hearts and heroes. Hearts and heroes. We try each year to recognize four heroes that have gone above and beyond in their community leadership, mm -hmm. and they range from many different areas. Some Visitation Valley this year, some for um, scholarships for prospective high school students, wow. mentorships, so it's everything, and we love honoring them, the unsung heroes, if you will. Wonderful. But also, the part about the hearts is so great. This whole circle of the heart, the artist, the heroes, all coming together with community leaders, it's very special. Now, tickets are still available for the luncheon. How can yes. people participate? Um, you can go online for the lunch or for the evening event at sfgh sfghf.net and get tickets right online. All right, Connie, Dana, thank you so much for joining us. It's going to be a wonderful event. Congratulations thank on being you. selected. Thank it's you. It's just stunning. Uh, the Heroes and Hearts Luncheon is on February 9th. For more ticket information, log on to sfghf.net. All right, Elizabeth, thanks so much. We'll be back with more Bay Sunday right after the break, so stay right there.